This is the greatest and best song in the world. My tutorial for Toss a Coin to Your Witcher recently went over 100,000 views. Thank you very much for watching that one if you have already. I thought some of you guys might like this one. Sing along. So we played the first thing that came to our heads and it just so happened to be the best song in the world. It was the best song in the world. Look into my eyes and it's easy to see you want to one make two to a one make two. It was destiny Once every hundred thousand years or so And the sun doth shine and the moon doth glow And the dust doth fall So the intro of this song is based around the A minor chord and two hammer-ons, so the middle finger and the third finger begin open and then we pick the open fourth string, hammer on that fourth string with the middle finger, pick the open third string, hammer on the third finger to the third string. Then we pick string five, string four, and strum. Because we're staying on that A minor chord, after we've started strumming, we should keep those fingers down after you've hammered on. So pick, hammer on, pick, hammer on, and we're already on the A minor chord. Then pick string five, string four, and a down strum. And the strumming pattern is generally this down, down, up, down, down, up, down. Okay, that's kind of a default, but there's lots of other things happening there as well. So. That's a really good starting point, just the intro. And then pick string five, four, strum, down, up, down, down, up, down, down, up, pick, pick, down, down, up, down. Then we play an Asus four. We lift off the first finger, we play an Asus two where that minor third, which makes this the A minor chord is suspended, is not played. And that sounds like this. Sus4 with the fourth finger, Sus2 with only two fingers down, and the normal A minor chord. And we have this, again, it's kind of a hammer on. Is absolutely a hammer on, but we've strum a chord. And from the top. The other chords in this song include the A minor, G major chord, which you can play with three fingers or four, entirely up to you, the F chord, which you could play as a bar chord, I'd probably prefer, if I was just playing this for fun, which I basically am, I would play this way, which is kind of a hybrid, you've also got the easy F major 7, just kind of like the C chord but one further down, they're all totally fine for this song, any way of playing the F major is fine. And a D major as well. So uh, the first chord sequence played the first thing that came to our heads and it just so happened to be the best song in the world. It was the best song in the world. And then we have a new progression after that. And that one's also the ending as well. This sort of song in the world, all right. The greatest song in the world. 
quite a lot of inspiration from a certain Led Zeppelin song there, but we'll let them off for it. It is a classic tune. Um, the other chord sequence is this. D major, F, C, G, F. This is why I'm preferring this way of playing an F, because going from D to the bar chord can be laborious for some people. Though some people prefer that, it's totally cool. The key of this song is A minor, so if you wanted to wail a solo in the middle of this... You're kind of thinking A minor pentatonic, position one, position two, even going up to position three, all good on most acoustic guitars, even one without a cutaway like this. That would be my suggestion to kind of do a little acoustic guitar solo, if you wanted to be like Kyle. Strumming pattern from that section, I'd probably default to down, 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 up. As a, as a default, but when we get to that F chord, there are certain kind of hit points in this song. The rest of this song is pretty much the A minor G, uh, a little riff that goes there. This is not the greatest song in the world, no. This is a tribute. And then from there, A minor G to the F, as we've done already. To the greatest song in the world, alright. To the greatest song in the world, alright. The end guitar solo and the ending is E major, so probably play the F like this. Go to the E major like this. Just on a really fast drum. It's loads of fun. See if you can check out some live versions so you can really see what the guys are doing. Uh, I'm a massive fan of Tenacious D, so it's really fun to do this one. Let me know any song requests in the comments below, and please subscribe to this Andy Guitar YouTube channel if you haven't already.